Hi. Welcome back to the knitting podcast series of Tales from a Polk County Girl YouTube channel. My name is Corey, and I want to thank everybody who has tuned in for stopping by. Um, if you're a new viewer, welcome. Uh, it, this uh, episode's going to show off um, all the finished objects I've done this month. I typically just do one episode a month about finished objects. I don't show them off every week. Um, and if you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. And the long-awaited finished objects episode is now here. This is episode four. And so, yeah, I'm kind of excited that I've kept up with it for uh, four episodes. Um, I'm going to start with... Um, just in order, you guys have already seen this, but some of these in a previous episode, but I'm still going to show them off. Um, oh, and an update on my uh, carpal tunnel flare-up from last week. Um, feeling better. I am still wearing a brace sometimes. I just needed to take a break from it. Uh, the scrap wrap, um, yeah, my scrappy wrap that I was hoping to have done by... Uh, by the 28th or before so I could submit it to Vegan Jilly of the Knitting Broomsticks, um, a Weasley family cow. That's not happening. It's not. Um, while I am allowed to knit again, I pretty much didn't knit for a week, almost a week, because I just had to rest my wrist um, until my wrist is feeling 100% better and I don't have to sleep in my brace and stuff like that. I'm just putting it aside. Heavy projects with big needles actually wear my wrists out pretty, uh, pretty quickly. Um, and yeah, but anybody that's a long time knitter, this doesn't surprise you. Okay. So we're going to get into some of my finished objects. I'm going to do them by color. So not just dishcloths or scrubbies or squares, um, just by color. This is, um, I've shown these off in a previous episode. These are the uh, dishcloths for, and the scrubbies for the uh, housewarming gift I made. I still haven't sewn in the ends and I showed these off in what, the second, in the second podcast episode. So there are four of them right here. The colorway is Burnout Licorice Treat. It is a twist. And um, still haven't sewn in the ends. But this party also hasn't been scheduled either. So I'm still good as far as I'm concerned. So I did four more dishcloths for a total of eight. And then the scrubbies. That's what the scrubby looks like. Again, ends not sewn in. Um, it's just a smaller version of this. And I made five of these. One, two, three, four, and five. So yeah, while uh, the gift will only include four scrubbies, since I had the yarn to make another one, I did. So there's Burnout Licorice Treat. Uh, the next ones I'm going to nice big pile over here, Our, uh, this yarn took me a while to find the name of the colorway of. It is a Burnat skein. Um, I went on a buying spree in 2012 when it came to cotton yarn. Uh, my local Joann's, they used to get a big box of it um, over the summer for their Firefly sale. I think that's the one that happens in July. And um, these things were always marked down to six, seven bucks instead of ten ninety nine. So I bought, I bought quite a few of them and I love knitting with cotton. I'm one of those knitters that prefer, that loves knitting with cotton. I know there are some people out there that hate knitting with cotton. Um, so some of the, some of the yarn I'm knitting up now I've had since 2012. And I know there are people that have had, that have much bigger yarn stashes than I do, and they're like, oh, I've had yarn a lot longer than that. Well, I just feel kind of silly. It's like, why do I keep buying yarn when I need to 
kind of knit through what I have. And really the only yarn I buy now is cotton and that's when it's either a really good sale or on clearance because I've got enough to last me for a few years. Um, so this uh, colorway, it didn't come with a label on it so I had to look it up it took me a while to find it, is Bernat Calico Ombra. And this is actually, to me, it looks like the ombra version of there was another yarn I've knitted up cotton yarn I've knitted up recently and it was a twist and instead of it was these colors but in the thread like so let me grab uh, one of the scrubbies again this is a twist it's where it's like the threads that have been spun together and then uh, applied to make a very thin yarn whereas this this was just um dyed so the colors are everywhere but um yeah I've noticed that a lot and sometimes they'll actually say I've seen some where the names are similar one's an ombre and one's a twist and that's just how they've labeled them but these two the names don't are not similar and for the life of me I can't remember what that one was right now but anyway as I'm stacking up my dishcloths because I should have done this beforehand, but I got a lot of a uh, cotton out of these, or a lot of dishcloths out of this cotton. Nice big stack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten dishcloths. Ends not sewn in. I hate weaving in ends. Who? Anybody that actually likes it, you should act, probably market your services because I'm sure there are plenty of knitters and crocheters out there that would be like, oh, I don't have to weave in ends? Here. So, 10 dishcloths, and I've got my bucket of finished objects right here, so I just drop it. And then I got two scrubbies. So once I get the, those ends sewn in, probably later on today, they'll go into craft show inventory buckets ready for the fall. And speaking of uh, craft show inventory, I had said in a previous episode that I was, my goal was to knit a hundred dishcloths for craft show season this year. Craft show season for me starts about end of September, beginning of October. Well, so far I have knit 26 dishcloths this year which to me is awesome. So I'm averaging about 10 a month, which that's not bad. That's pretty good, especially considering I went pretty much all last week without knitting. True story. All right, and the last uh, finished objects I have to show you are, um, they are the pieces squares for my pieces afghan. You know, this is just random acrylic that I have lying around and I knit it up and it's my pieces uh afghan is my version of the crochet granny square blanket. And I just knit up these are uh for those that are new and haven't heard me explain this before. I make these pieces, they, these are my project bags. Uh, it's the random acrylic that I throw in small project bags for when I'm in the car, for when I'm taking a knitting break at work, um, anything like that. If I just, or if I just want to break from knitting cotton, I knit on this stuff. And I'm almost done separating it. I made a lot this month actually, and that was awesome. I'm like really this is the most uh, little squares I've made for this in quite a while okay so they were all kind of knitted I didn't just focus on one yarn color um, at a time I just it was whatever project bag I grabbed so and no particular order I have this lovely uh, teal pink and purple mix and I got one, two, three, four, five little squares out of that. 
Funny story about this yarn. This is old yarn. This is old acrylic. Um, when I first started knitting when I was 10, uh, after I finished destroying uh, the cotton, the blue cotton that I learned on, my mom bought me this so I could make like a scarf or something out of it. Well, I dug it out uh, about a year ago and ripped and frogged it and just, you know, balled up the yarn and said, oh, it'll become pieces someday. Finally did. Uh, the second batch of yarn, it's similar story. It's this color. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven little squares out of this one. And it was the same deal. This is old acrylic that I've had many, many years. Uh, at least almost 20 years. And it was something. Then I frogged it and turned it into squares. And then this yarn, this is a very nice soft acrylic. Um, it's a beautiful color too. It's greens and purples and it's very soft. It was very nice to knit with. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six squares out of this one. It just looks so funny, very tentacly with all the ends hanging down. And this yarn, where'd this yarn come from? When my friend Anne of Twin Mommy Creations was cleaning out some of her yarn stash, like yarn that she had bought before, long before she ever started dyeing her own, um, she just like gave me a garbage bag full of random yarn and said, here, take it, do what you want with it. So that's some of that yarn. And then the last two, and these look, now that I'm looking at them, they look fairly, yeah, they're slightly bigger than the normal, than my other squares. Um, and I don't have any information on this yarn either. Um, I don't think it came from Anne. I had been gifted a Cozy Memories, a half done Cozy Memories blanket or a mitered square blanket. And I'm just not into that style of blanket. I'm, I really am not. So I frogged it, like sat there and undid each little square. I think it took me half a day. To, and this was some of the yarn that came with uh, that project. So I'm just working through that. It, it's a nice little cake. I should have brought the project bag over, but it, it was caked up and it's very nice. It's a very nice little cake and um it just looks really cute this yarn what it's okay it, this it's kind of scratchy it's not as soft as say this one but um yeah the yarn's also slightly thicker i'd call that maybe a weight four because it's not bulky but i don't know it feels thicker than cotton i don't know but anyways those are all my squares I made 20 of them, which by my count, according to my estimations, um, when I wrote down blanket sizes, I average size of my squares is about five inches by five inches. So using those measurements, it's okay. How many squares would it take to make one of these blankets? And so far I have 120, no, 102 squares. I have enough to make a baby blanket, but I'm not. Um, I want to do a bigger project. I don't know what kind of bigger project yet though. Probably a queen size blanket because we, our guest bedroom has a queen size bed in it. So that's, um, that is many, many squares. And uh, yeah, so I've got a ways to do this, but with the rate I'm going, I may have enough by next year. And just to compare, this is, I said this one was slightly bigger. It does look bigger to me, or it just feels bigger. So, yeah, you can see it peeking up a little bit. And I didn't do anything different. It is it is the size of the yarn. I use the same size needle. I use a US size 10, and it's, it is um, Granny's favorite, Grandma's favorite washcloth pattern, and I just went up to 25 and then came back down. Nothing special. I know that pattern in my, I can knit that pattern in my sleep. And according to my husband, I have. So. Yay. So that's all for finished objects. Um, 
I don't really have much else to share with you this week. Uh, I had hoped to have the scrap wrap blanket done, but it's that one is shelved for right now. Um, I never really addressed this in any of the previous episodes, but I watch I do watch a lot of knitting podcasts, and I don't know if anybody is even wondering about this when you watch it, but um, I don't knit socks. A lot of podcasters knit socks. Good for them. I'm good for them. I, that knitting a sock to me is incredible. I have no desire to knit them. I live in Florida. My husband would not wear them. He walks around barefoot all the time. I wear tennis shoes all the time. So for me, it's it's not having knitted socks isn't. A big deal to me but I like like I said before I like knitting with cotton so I knit a lot of cotton dishcloths and I do sell them in the fall at various craft shows so that's what my finished objects will mainly be it'll be dishcloths and scrubbies I call them scrubbies um, my grandma calls them coasters but or pot holders they're versatile um, so yeah that's, uh, so if you're watching this podcast hoping to see socks, it's very unlikely because I don't have any desire to knit socks. I never, I'm not going to say I'm never going to knit socks, but at this moment, I have no desire to learn how to knit socks. I like knitting my dishcloths and my scrubbies and working on blankets and afghans and warm fuzzy things to keep you warm. So yeah, that's me. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. This was a pretty quick episode this week, but the wrist wouldn't let me knit. Um, actually, my husband wouldn't let me knit. I still would have knit through the pain, and yeah. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And wow, the light just got weird. Yeah. That's the problem with filming in front of windows. So everybody have a nice day and I'll see you guys next week.